What do we got? We have a bottle of a Milk and Honey Distilleries from the Apex series of single malt whiskeys. And this is their pomegranate wine cask. And we have been in search of this for a little while. Quite some time. So a coworker yes. was pleased with my work uh -huh. and tried to really? send me a bottle. Wait, really? Well, he was not disappointed with my work, Did I guess. Did you ply him with whiskey? So he was going to send me a bottle because apparently my work knows that I work for booze. And okay. for whatever reason, while we live in the Wild West here, he yes. was unable to either find someone who would send something or ship something. By or Wild whatever. West, you mean New Jersey? The great state of New Jersey. Yes. So he sent me a gift card. So I had a gift card, which I then was forced to use uh -huh. for whiskey because that was its purpose. It would be wrong not to have <laughs> used it for whiskey. So we went to our good friends at Benash. Yes. But it probably took us 10 minutes, 15 minutes to uh -huh. find this bottle yep. as we were looking around because, you know, we won't ask for help. Okay. You want to read and not pour? I'll read what you Wait, hold on. Let's, let's do it, right? Uh, not much of a pop. Uh, it's okay. Not much of a pop, but... Let's see about the glug glug, right? The glug glug. Most beautiful sound in the world. By the way, I like the bottle. It's got a nice grip. It's got a good shape. m and Distillery is Israel, Israel's first whiskey distillery established under the guidance of the late Dr. Jim Swan. We build a team of enthusiastic people who, are, who make everything possible. Our whiskeys are the result of our meticulous cask selection perfected by the hot climate maturation of vibrant Tel Aviv. Get set to discover a world of whiskey. This is a pomegranate wine cask, so they finish it in pomegranate wine cask. Okay. And it is at 60.3%. Oh! So they are not messing around. This is whiskey with a six. And these are kosher, uh, and I apologize for what I'm about to say, uh, La Meherdrine casks. L M E H A D R I N cask. I have no idea. I did my best. I'm very sorry. So they are special pomegranate wine casks that they get from their you know local vendors, so mm -hmm. they age it in that. So it's finished in that for a period of six months. Okay. And and the rest of the so time is in what? It's a barrel, small or? batch single malt whiskey. And it's aged in ex bourbon casks and finished in fortified style pomegranate wine casks for a mm. period of six months. Nice. Wow, that's kind of that's quite the nose. It is a fruit, uh, a fruit bonanza. I couldn't say that it smells like pomegranate because I really don't know what pomegranate smells like, but I know what it tastes like. Very rich, very very rich and like plummy and you know lots of lots of like dried fruit. You know, getting, like a lot of getting a lot some, of stone fruit, some vanillas and some butterscotch too. It's nice. Maybe something like cherries or some kind yeah, of like cherry fruit, fruit, plums, something with a pit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it smells That's great. Nice. That's really good. Nice. Now it's what was it again? Sixty point one. <laughs> Sixty point three. Whiskey with a six. I am all sixes and sevens. I this like whiskeys with a five. I think I'm scared of the sixes. Did we, did we cheers on this? We did cheers on this. Uh, but one more for time. Something like this, we get cheers again. Cheers. Mazel tov. There you go. Is that fair? That's appropriate. Is that fair? We are in Cherry Hill. And <laughs> so you know. And it is M &H. We're in like little Tel Aviv, practically. But you know what's interesting about about Cherry Hill? You can't get a good hummus anywhere. I don't understand. I don't know. Cards and letters? I'm G just saying. Low. I'm just saying. G now, if I go over the bridge and we go to Zahav, whole another animal. G whole another animal. Oh, this smells great. On the back end, you get the little, like, you get the afterburners. But at first, it's not super hot. It, um, it's hot enough. It doesn't seem like 60. No. But it's not 40. No, 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 no. There's a good bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. The heat is more like a vapor than it is, say, cinnamon or or uh, any anything like peppery. And I, I'm getting like dried fruits. Yeah. And like maybe a little bit of coffee on the back end. I'm getting like a lot of like like really dark, rich yeah. brown sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a dark brown sugar, like kind of yeah. almost like burnt to a degree yeah. at first. So that's what I'm thinking, like the coffee, like the, the you know? burnt kind of. It, it's, like coffee it's not particularly oily. It's actually almost light and whiskey. Yeah. yeah. You know, like there's no oiliness at all. You know, it's almost a little bit like, I, I'm not going to say watery. I'm going to say more like vapory or, or wispy. Just kind of like the way it is. Just kind of like, I don't know, what do you call that? Flashbang grenades kind of thing. <laughs> but it's not super hot. I'm going to say it's velvety. 
Yeah. <laughs> and not flashbang grenades. <laughs> and that it's not, while it's 60%, it's not super hot like peppery or cinnamony. Mm. It's just more like a vapory kind of flavor to it. I just put five drops of water in here. It's just got a, I, yeah, I will. I'll I try will. the same. It's got a very rich quality to it, though, I think. You know? This to me, you know, with the society has their different flavor profiles. Yeah. There's um, a uh, rich and dignified is one of theirs. To me, this seems like yeah. an old flavored whiskey. But it's not. This, no, whoa, God, no. What's no. the age? Like two years? No, I, if that? Two, two years, three years, top. Because, because, you know because, why? because uh, quickly it, it ages. Because Tel Aviv is in the desert but, and it's hot. But it, it seems like one of their rich, rare and dignified yeah. kind of things. It's just very nice. It's almost like, you know, like you get one of those old sherry ones, but it's like, mm -hmm. like a younger sherry, but older. Like it has the maturity, but it doesn't have that like, that thick to it. The roundness, the yeah. roundness, you know? The it's, it's just, leather, it's, the armchair. Really, yeah. Yeah. That's just really, that's mm. really just a nice whiskey. It does so, to my friend who gave me my gift card, thank you very much, because <laughs> this is a very nice whiskey. You will not be seeing this again. You know, I, I added... I will be keeping I this. I added some water... Under lock and key. And I almost feel like it got hotter. Uh, with the water, I think it also opened up some of the fruit flavors. Yeah, it, it actually seems a little fruitier. It's a little richer. And uh, like a little more vibrant. Yeah. As well as possibly, while we added water, a little hotter, which I don't really understand. I don't either. Apparently, ag we agitated the flashbangs. And we like to, you know, we, we are agitators. And we're always agitated. And, and what was interesting is when you put the water in, it didn't pool on top. So this isn't terribly oily. It kind of mixed. No. Which is nice. And again, this is the sort of whiskey that kills, for most people, age statements. Yes. Because this is not 10, 12, 14, 16, 20 years old. This is reasonably immature whiskey. But because of the climate... It's hyper, you know, aged. It actually gets like, like the flavors get deeper and yeah. richer yeah. with more water. Because yeah. I think it brings out some more yeah. of the sugars and like the fruit. It, you know? it reduces some of the vapor. And yeah. again, while I'm glad this is at sixty percent. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure they tried it out at different percentages, uh -huh. and, and this said, is what worked. This, is, this is the one. You don't lose much by adding water. No. Where having water just kind of ruined it. No, um, I think you may gain something. Five by drops, water. six drops of water. And it's a whole different whiskey. Yeah. And it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. I like it. I like it a lot. To me, this is probably an A. Oh, yeah. I'd say this That's is you know, 92, 93, yeah. somewhere in that you range. You know what's nice? It's a nice alternative to like the, the, the traditional wine casts, like the port well, and it, the Madeira and all that. It's just different. It adds something different to we've, it. Uh, we've seen a tremendous number of distillers now, and I guess because the casks are available, that are rolling out all these port, whis you know, port finished whiskeys. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with any of them. Mm -hmm. um, and I enjoy certainly the Sherry Kiskis, the PX Casks, all those sorts of things. Right. This is, like you said, it's just a nice change of pace. Try it in something else. This mm -hmm. is decidedly different. Yeah. But not different in a bad way. Nope. It's just experimentation gone right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Very good. So to the folks in M&H, you know, you're doing a great job. Keep doing it. Cheers to them. Our fine friends and, at Impex to bring and, it in. And to my coworker, hey, you know, anytime I can work for you and you can send me a yeah. gift card, please send me a gift card. You know, it's FYI, you know, if you're, when you're feeling a little low, think of it this way. I do a lot of favors for folks who are. I don't get a gift card. I get nothing. They don't like you. I get nothing. What do you mean? You get to share this. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's from you. These are your spoils. <laughs> But we share the spoils. All right, it works for me. Sir, cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to your friend that gave you the $100 gift card. And cheers to m and and Impex for bringing in a delicious, fine product. Yeah, really good. Very, Very good. Really good. Mazel tov.